less than 11.6. This is 11.7 in the 2012 copyright textbook. This is understand volume, unit cubes, and rectangular prisms. Volume is the measure of the space a solid figure occupies and is measured in cubic units. We can use unit cubes to find the volume of a rectangular prism. We find the number of unit cubes it takes to fill the base without any gaps or overlaps, then multiply that number by the number of layers that make up its height. Here's a rectangular prism, and the base has 10 unit cubes. There's four layers. We do 10 times the four layers. That's equal to 40 unit cubes. So the volume for this rectangular prism is 40 cubic units. If the unit for each cube is centimeters, then the volume is 40 cubic centimeters. So we can find the volume of a rectangular prism with multiplication. We have three unit cubes. There's two layers. Three times two is equal to six cubic units. Each unit cube has a volume of one cubic unit. It's one unit length, one unit width, one unit height. It's a one unit cube. If we have two of them, it's two cubic units. If we have three of them, it's three cubic units. If we have six of them, it's six cubic units. Volume is measured using cubic units, such as cubic centimeters, which is abbreviated as a CU for the cubic and CM for centimeters, cubic inches, CU for cubic, IN period for inches, CU for cubic, FT for feet, FT period, and we have cubic yards, that's CU for cubic and YD period for yards. So a unit cube is a unit length, unit width, and a unit height. If they were centimeter units, it would be one centimeter length, one centimeter width, one centimeter height. That would be one cubic centimeter. If the units were yards, it would be one yard in length, one yard in width, and one yard in height. And it would be one cubic yard. We can use one centimeter cubes to find the volume of a rectangular prism. We find the number of one centimeter cubes it takes to fill the base without any gaps or overlaps. Then we multiply that number by the number of layers that make up its height. There's two layers. We have four on the first layer. That's four times two layers. That's equal to eight cubic centimeters. So it's cubic centimeters because we said they were one centimeter cubes. The volume of this rectangular prism is eight cubic centimeters. When unit cubes are stacked, we may not see all of the cubes from our viewpoint. We look at this one, there must be a cube in the back left corner supporting this cube on top. It's supported by a cube that's beneath it. And each layer of a rectangular prism will have the same amount of cubes. So if we lifted the layer away, we'd see that this was the one that was hiding. It was supporting this one above it. See? To find the volume of three-dimensional figures, we measure in three directions. For a rectangular prism, we measure its length, width, and height. So here we have a one centimeter cube. Here, there are four of them. We measure the length. There's two centimeters in length. The width is two, so that would be two centimeters. And the height is one, so that would be one centimeter. We multiply the length times the width times the height. Two times two is four. Four times one is four. That's four cubic centimeters. Here we have a one inch cube. So the length is two inches, the width is two inches, and the height is one inch. And we have the same multiplication. Two times two times one is four, except because these are inches, we have four cubic inches. 
We can multiply the three dimensions to find volume. Length times width times height equals volume. We have a length of three units. We have a width of two units, and we have a height of three units. We do three times two times three. Three times two is six, and six times three is 18. That's 18 cubic units. And if each unit was centimeters, the volume would be eight cubic centimeters. And if the unit was inches, the volume would be 18 cubic inches. So we have three layers here. We can see them. If I move these up, you'll see the three layers. We have six three times. That's 18 cubic units. And 18 cubic centimeters is less than 18 cubic inches because centimeters are less than inches. They would have the same shape, but the prism in inches would be larger. It would have greater volume. Inches are larger. So cubic inches take up more space than cubic centimeters. So we multiply the length of 3 times the width of 2 times the height of 3 units. Use the unit given, find the volume. So this is in inches. It's saying that this is 4 inches, this is 3 inches, and this is 4 inches because it's got 4 layers. So each cube is 1 cubic inch. We can multiply 4 times 3, that's 12, and we multiply it by the layers. There's 4 layers. 12 times 4 is 48. Each cube is one cubic inch, it's 48 cubic inches. This one is in centimeters. Each cube is one cubic centimeter. We have three centimeters this way for length, we have four centimeters for width, and we have five centimeters for our height. We can do three times four, that's 12, times the height five, 12 times five, that's 60. Each cube is one cubic centimeter, so the volume is 60 cubic centimeters. We found how many cubes were in the base, and we multiplied it by the height. Tala built a rectangular prism with cubes. The base of her prism has four inch cubes. If the prism was built, built with 12 inch cubes, what's the height of her prism? So we think the base layer has four cubes. How many layers of four will total 12 cubes? We can use division to solve. So this is a very easy problem. You might have one that says the base of the prism has 24 cubes and it'll give you that it has hundreds of cubes in the entire prism. So I'm using a very easy set of numbers so that you'll understand. We have 12 inch cubes and she has four per layers. That would be three layers. And because they're in inches, the height is three inches. If each cube is one inch, the height is one, two, three inches. Find the volume of this rectangular prism. We think we can count the units of length, width, and height and use multiplication to find the volume. So it says each cube is one cubic centimeter. We count the number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's got a length of eight. The width is one, two, three. And we count the height. One, two, three, four, five. We need to multiply eight times three times five. Eight times three is 24. We do 24 times 5. 5 times 4 is 20. 5 times 2 is 10. 11, 12. That would be 120. It would be 120 cubic centimeters.
So be very careful. Remember, there's three measures, length, width, and height. Once you know how many unit cubes are on one layer, you need to multiply it by the height. Our next lesson, 11.7, we're going to estimate volume with everyday objects. I hope you have a great day. I'm proud of you for watching math videos, and I'll see you next time. Bye.